Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews episode 69 about the upcoming launches of the Japanese Epsilon and the European Ariane 5 rocket. Ariane has a 30 meter high core stage and mounted on the side are two slightly higher solid rocket motors. On top of that is the upper stage and the payload, which consists out of the two satellites JCZ-15 and STAR-1-D1. Both are separated with a bell called SILDA and are wrapped with a 70 meter tall fairing. The Japanese Epsilon is roughly half the size and consists of three solid fuel stages from which the last is covered with a fairing. The satellite on the very top is called Exploration of Energization and Radiation in Geospace or ERG for short. The launch already took place today at 11 UTC from the Uchinohura Space Center in Japan. Due to the relatively high thrust to weight ratio of the solid booster, the rocket will turn quite drastically right after liftoff, similar to a ballistic missile. After that one stage will burn out and separate after another with a short coasting phase in between until the satellite is on track for separation. Unlike most other satellites, ERG will be placed and stay in a highly elliptical orbit of 300 by 33,000 km. Its mission is to study the so called Van Allen Belt, which is a donut shaped region around our planet where the sun's radiation gets trapped by our Earth's magnetic field. The energized particles in that region can not only disturb but also damage sensory instruments, which makes studying it rather difficult. ERG features a total of 8 experiments like ion mass analyzers for example. The basic concept behind these is to bend the trajectory of incoming charged particles with electric fields. The total charge of such a particle can be measured by changes in the electric field and that charge plus the amount of curvature was achieved will give scientists a clue about the particle mass. These experiments are rather simple compared to those on ground but this is necessary due to the very limited mass. The complete satellite has a mass of only 350 kg which is comparable to a large motorcycle. Probably the scariest part of the launch procedure is the third stage separation and ignition. The third stage has no control mechanism to orient itself so it is spun up rapidly by the second stage and separated and ignited. It tumbled around quite a lot but managed to keep pointing in roughly the right direction with only minor deviations from the planned flight path. In the end ERG is separated and will perform some course corrections to enter its final orbit. Ariane 5's launch is scheduled for tomorrow December 21st at 20.30 UTC and will as always take place at the Guiana Space Center in Kourou. The rocket will follow its usual path towards east over the Atlantic Ocean with a booster separating at 2 minutes and 22 seconds into the flight. Shortly after that the fairing will be jettisoned and the core stage will burn for 2 minutes. Once that burn is finished the upper stage will separate and do a 14 minute long lasting burn injecting its payload into its desired geosynchronous transfer orbit. As mentioned on board are JCZ-15 which stands for Japanese communication satellite and the larger STAR-1-D1 for the Brazilian company Embratel. STAR-1 will be placed at 84 degrees west over America from where it will cover the majority of middle and south America with telecommunication services. JCZ-15 has a similar purpose but will be placed at 110 degrees east over Indonesia. Once the upper stage finishes its job it will first separate STAR-1, then rotate a bit, separate the SILDA and rotate again to release JCZ-15 to make sure the parts won't collide on their own orbital trajectories. Each of them will finally circleize its orbit on its own and enter service in just a few months. Now in the end a quick shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot and if you want to contribute as well simply follow the link in the description or at the very end of this video. Ok, that shall conclude episode 69 and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching. <laughs>